Hi. What's up, guys? It's me. Oh my god, it's been so long. So I wanted to start like a new series on this channel, but I'm not sure what to name it or even like how to describe it. So I'm just gonna let you like watch it and figure it out. All right, you're you're gonna you're, you're smart enough. You're gonna figure it out. So the, the Instagram artist that I found myself being most inspired by this week is a guy named Kev Neon or Nyon, Kevin Nylon, whatever it is, dude. Kev makes art that is simple and structured, but it feels like aggressive and like, I don't know, it's loose in some way. Like Kev kind of has a hard style to describe because it is really simple looking, but he packs a lot into the simplicity of the, of the character designs. I think the thinness of the line art is one part. And also like the line art itself isn't like clean. It's, it's a little messy and a little not sloppy. It's messy and sharp. So those things put together make everything look like really aggressive. And he's going for a look that's not like cute. Like it's easy to make a cute looking character, but he definitely catches like a cool look. I also love that there's animations on the page because it works well, super well in animation. But they definitely have like a really unique style, a really interesting looking style. The expressions on the characters are great. There's like Scott Pilgrim references on the page. Uh, he references another artist on Instagram I like a lot. So it's a style that I found myself being really inspired by this week. So what I'm gonna do with this series and what I'm gonna do today is look at that style, right? And try to like take a few references and see how well I can emulate it because like, when it comes to building your own style and building what you think looks good, it's good to like look at what other people do. Like when creating your own style, it's good to look at the styles of other people and be inspired. When you build your own style, it's really just an amalgamation of tons of other people's styles anyway. So I think what I'm doing with this series is looking at styles, trying my hand at them, seeing if I can do it and just really just gaining a, a, a form of appreciation. I feel like I have a style. I'm not really trying to edit it too much, but I'm open to whatever, but like, um, yeah, I don't even know what I'm talking about anymore. This is hard. Okay, so starting with the sketch, I think the sketch was, oh no, for sure the sketch was the hardest part of this for me, which makes sense because, you know, you're framing or making sense of everything that you've got here, and uh, it took a minute, man. I I don't record the first guy, I, I that's Blue Guy, my character, I don't, they don't have names or anything, but that's definitely Blue Guy. And I don't record me drawing him because it took an extremely long time. Like, I, I don't know for sure because I literally knew. Like, I got halfway through and I was like, yeah, there's no point in even recording this. It's going to take forever. So when I drew, like, Dread Guy, I knew, like, I have to record some of that at least. Uh, I felt pretty good about the sketches when I finished them, though. I remember feeling pretty good. As for the line art, I feel like I could have almost gone half as like, I could have went with half this thickness and gotten 
a closer look to what the original artist does. Uh, his line art gets really thin and I'm not used to working in line art that thin. So this is like kind of a compromise to what I like and what he does with his own line art. Red Guy was interested in the sketch phase because Kev's characters tend to, they don't smile. <laughs> like, my voice is cracking. But it's very hard to find his character smiling like at any point. So I had to figure out how I wanted to do that. And also if they're smiling, the whole build of the face has to change. And that means the eyes have to be shifted upward, which uh made dread guy seem a lot more of an amalgamation of my style and kev's versus blue guy really fitting into the style like semi-naturally i think I fast forward this a lot. Y'all do not know how long this really took. And that's a really important part that I didn't talk about earlier is like, he has a, uh, what do you call it? Like noise in the background or like in, in, in his art, there's noise, which is just like, um, it's not literal sound. It's um, like, uh, dang, how do you describe noise to somebody? It's, it's just like texture, basically and it's just texture that's laid over everything. And it, honestly, it might just be that when I uh, zoomed in too far, I found noise because because uh, the screenshot wasn't good, but I thought I saw some. And even if it isn't, I think it lended itself well to my own art um, or my emulation of his art. I had an interesting time drawing the shadows too because I knew they needed to be sharp and aggressive but he's also really light on the shadow. He doesn't add an extreme amount. And like when I'm doing fabrics or like shirts and stuff, like I'll go ham and do too much. So I had to, had to calm myself down. After I did all of this, uh, all of this part of it, I definitely went through and like cleaned stuff up. So when you see the final product, don't be like, what, dude? There was no like, this isn't even related. It's, I mean, obviously it's related. It's like the same thing, but yeah. So here's the final, the final product and it looks pretty different. <laughs> well, not really. I just added highlights. That's it. And you can see the noise too. You can see it, the texture. So. Yeah, that's basically it, dude. All right, so that was my interpretation or my analyzation or my uh, copying of Kevin Ion's style. I think it turned out pretty good. I like it a lot, actually. Like, tell me what you think about the format of this video, what I can do to make these types of videos better, because I think I'll be doing them every week. If people don't like them, I'm still going to do this type of stuff, but I'm not going to post it. So, like, you telling me that you like it is 
important if you want to see more of it because I have no problem doing this on my own without making videos because the editing takes a hot second. So yeah, thank you for watching. Um, wow, it just feels really weird to talk to a camera again like this. Oh my god, like, I don't like it actually. I feel kind of fake. But anyway, that's beside the point. Alright, I really don't know how to make an outro.